Park. Here's the entranceway to Carney Lake Park. And there's the blue streak right there. We used to ride that a long time ago, an old wooden roller coaster. So cool. So cool. Awesome. I don't know where we're headed, but we're headed somewhere to get something to eat. All right. Hello my legion, I'm here at the Meadville Burger King to review the very new, brand new, spicy BLT cheeseburger. And for the value meal, regular value meal was $6.99 with fries, I got Diet Coke, and here's the sandwich. I assume this has spicy sauce on it, regular BLT with a hamburger, and let's give it a shot. And also it has a survey thing where it says that you can tell them about the sandwich on the online you can get a free whopper chicken sandwich let's give it a shot it's huge Some good sandwich. I don't taste any heat whatsoever. My sandwich is good. I like the frame boiled burger, but there's no spiciness to this whatsoever. Try another bite. Whatever spiciness in the sauce, it's not spicy at all, but it's not a bad Whopper, though. I'd probably give it a... Mm. Since it's not spicy, I'm going to have to deduct it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 for Burger King's Spicy BLT Whopper. Let's try out their french fries. Got some ketchup. Okay. Mmm. French fries, that's good. Uh, 8 out of 10. Well, don't get me wrong, this is really good, but it's just not spicy. I have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I'm going to try my Diet Coke. <sighs> Diet Coke's pretty good. That gets a, a 9 out of 10. So and they have a 7.5. Out of 10 for Burger King Spicy BLT Whopper. Mm. It's alright, but it could have been spicy. And it's not. So until next time, buddy. Take care. We'll eat. Alright, I'm back. We're heading home from the Meadville Burger King. We were at Walmart and they gave us a big spiel about this jewelry, but like a whole bunch. I get seven piece free, buy uh, one for 29 or 30 bucks, get a second one free or something like that, and you get a free gift. This is a free gift, a little plastic, what is it, is it an earring? It's a trinket. It's, a it's just trinket. a trinket with like a little piece of metal and a Put it on your necklace. thing. I, I've given it to my sister, I just think it's funny, we waited in line five minutes for free gift. My sister and her friend left, and I, I said, well heck, I gotta get back. I, my curiosity to see what the free gift was, and this was what it was. He had my sister, isn't that funny? All right. Oh, well, I just want to show the place that we haven't been there in a long time. I'm sorry, Jojo. Well, Dad's house that he grew up in is up here. Oh, where, you want to show the house where Dad grew up at? Are we going to pass it? Yeah. Okay, I want to show you the house where my dad grew up in. Okay, it's coming up. Just tell me when. I'll shut the camera. Is it real close? I'll have to see. It's okay. right on the curb. Right on the curb. Okay, I'm going to shut the camera off. Wait a second. Okay, I'm getting close to, I think, where my dad grew up when he was little in Lionsville. Because they, they originally lived in Florida, then they moved up to PA. Let's see. Let's see. I believe it's this house right here. This one? Yeah. That's where my dad grew up at, right there, when he was little. Yep, I'm almost That there. is so cool. Awesome. And he lived real close to where Coyote Lake Park is. Coyote Lake Park is down here, right? That, yeah. Yeah, down here. 
that's the amusement park we used to go there when we were growing up. So awesome. Like she said, she my sister get all the cool Hello Kitty stuff in the car. So, alrighty. I thought I'd show that. That's pretty cool showing where my dad grew up at. Alright. Yeah, we're heading home. I just wanted to do a little commentary about Meadville because they had the Meadville Mall and the Meadville Mall kind of, uh, everything went out of business and now it's just a Kmart now. And then there was one place that we used to go to all the time growing up called Cutters. And Cutters was awesome. And then it went out of business and now it's Cutters Condos. It's just a bunch of condos. But they, it was like an awesome novelty store. And in school, in, in Jim McLean and Edinburgh, everybody always talked about Cutters. You know, it's just a shame it went out of business. Uh, my sister liked Cutters. You like Cutters, didn't you? Yeah, Cutters was awesome. Okay. Yeah, we're in Conneaville right now. And I remember going through Conneaville lots of times, especially growing up. Going to, uh, well, going to our grandmother's, I think. We went through here all the time. Yeah. Here's the, uh, what is the Ashland gas station in downtown. And coming up is uh, Samuel's Market. That, and you've heard me mention Samuel's Market on some of my sure fine videos. It's coming up. I remember going through here all the time. Lots of churches. It's like, uh, oh, like an Albion. Albion is all just bars and churches. Like you said before, you drink and get drunk and then you beg for forgiveness. And church. <laughs> Where's the Samuel's Market? Oh, it's coming up. Well, I've down, down, like strolling down memory lane. Here's a little mural right there. And Samuel's Market's coming up. Connie at Hardware. There you go. Gas station. That's Market Plaza. Here's Samuel's Market's right here. Really old. It's been around. I'm not filming you, Johnny. It's been around for, ever, forever. <laughs> I'm not filming you, Johnny. Or oh, another train station. I swear to God, I'm not filming you. You're uh, in the video. And then that's. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, Johnny. I'll sue you if you if you put me in a video. I'll sue you. <laughs> One time, head goes, I saw you in the rear view mirror. Oh yeah, that was an accident. I did. I filmed this and I got you in the rear view mirror. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 